How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review another movie. Today I'm going to be reviewing the latest movie to star Omar Shaparo, man, and Joey Morgan. Now, newcomer Joey Morgan, but Omar Shaparo, famous Mexican actor, man. I live near the border of Mexico, actually, South Texas. Uh, not like five miles down or something, but nearby. Uh, heavily, I'm Hispanic, man, so I've, you know, all my life, man, I, we, we, you know, that's, that's my culture, baby, it's my side, that's who we are, baby, and it, it's great to finally see and acknowledge, you know, um, the Mexico and stars coming over and finally making it to the big league, I mean, saying of how they made it to Hollywood, and now it's finally a big movie coming out, man, I'm releasing a lot of theaters, really cool, man, this movie's called Compadres, and I gotta say, Eric er, er, Roberts is in here as well, like, Sort of big American actor, uh, not anymore, but you know, used to be up there, man. But it's really Robert's brother, Eric Roberts. He's in here too. Uh, so this movie, man, it's you know, I saw the trailer about three weeks back, and I literally was like, this looks really good, man. It looks like a fun comedy that it knows it's not going to be taking itself so seriously. It's just going to have a good time with it, and plus, mind you. Mexico studios make movies differently from American studios, you know, uh, sometimes a little bit more cheesy, it's a little bit not taken seriously, which is a fun thing and a good thing, just enjoy yourself through the movie. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here's my non-spoiler review for Compadre. First off, I have to say with the pros, Omar Shaparo did a really good job in here, man. I think he did a great job, but he really did. He was a really fun character and different character, man. I, I really liked how he was a bad boy, smoked cigarette. I could, you know, I'm a cop, you know, I could, you know, badass sort of guy. And this movie, you know, a lot, about 65, 70% is subtitles with, you know, so if you, you're, you don't know Spanish, you go and there's subtitles, uh, which... I didn't know it was going to be the whole movie. I thought certain parts, but then again, like, a lot of it is, I know, like, it's a Mexico film, dude. Of course it's going to have subtitles, you know, for the Americans. But now I know how other countries are when, they, I mean, when they go see a movie and it's either dubbed or it has subtitles and everything. I'm like, oh my god, this is how it feels. Uh, you know, but it got, I got used to it, of course, the subtitles and everything. But sometimes it goes fast, like, quick dialogue, and I'm like, oh, but wait, wait, I didn't, like, there are certain parts that I didn't get the subtitles on. I couldn't, what the hell, what's going on? Uh, but for sure, man, Omar Shapar did a really, really good job with the action, too. I mean, the action in here, not great action, but it's just enough entertaining action for the night to get you through. Uh, definitely the story is a little whack every now and then. The story does kind of go over the place, and it does take a while to actually meet Joey Morgan's character, who is a hacker, uh, or the accountant, you might add, man. He's 17 years old. He's like, don't call me a kid. And he's like, listen here, you son of Donald Trump. Man, uh, and th let me just tell you, there's this part where he's talking to this kid, uh, Omar Shaparo, and he's like, let me have that pack of cigarettes. And he's like, he's just like, I'm good, I'm good, and you know, all that. But he don't care, he's not one of those where he's like, why are you asking about cigarettes or anything? He's just kind of cool, chill about it. And then he ends up <laughs> giving the pack of cigarettes, man. And he goes inside, <coughs> and his wife is like, or not wife, or girlfriend or something, and she's basically like, w who was that? Uh, the future president of Mexico, and I'm just like, everyone bursted out laughing in the theaters, man. Uh, yeah, but then again, Omar Shapar, like I said, really good at, uh, actor in this movie, and he's also coming out in another movie in a few months as well, it's another you know, Mexico uh, American movie, and I really, really, look. it really looks fun and enjoyable, and this one was a fun, enjoyable movie. The action, again, was just that fun action, you know, not, 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 Overly, overly the top, but enough to keep you, you know, like, all right, that's cool, you know, because there's a, a lot. Like, it took a minute and a half just to show all the companies and logos that worked on this movie, which is a lot of companies. I was pissed off about that. It's like, blah, 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 productions, blah, 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 productions, blah, 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 productions, blah, 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 productions, production, production. I'm like, okay, I get it. People worked on this movie. But again, Joy Morgan, I thought he was really good in here, you know, for the white kid, you know. I think he did actually do quite a fun job in here, man. And their chemistry, you know, working along together throughout the whole movie, it was fun to see them together. It wasn't such a bad thing. So I enjoyed uh, Omar Shaparo and Joy Morgan and the action. So their chemistry worked well together. It mostly was a funny movie. There are parts that aren't funny where other people found it funny. But... I couldn't enjoy myself as much because, you know what, 
and I'm not, I'm, again, I'm Hispanic, so it's fine for me, Mexicans and everything, but, man, 15, 20 minutes into this movie, a Mexican family, come, like, I mean, loud, you know, true, you know, Mexican family, coming up, and they just talked and talked behind me, like, and, like, no, I got a song, you know, and all that, like, I'm just, I did two years of Spanish, somehow I passed, but I still don't know Spanish that well, and I'm just gonna say blah, 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 like, jumble words, but he's like, I soon just sing, ah, they go, like, oh, in the back, and, like, talking behind me, and I'm like, I've been waiting here almost, like, 50, like, 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and, you, like, you come and talk while the movie's on, and people, it's a packed house, baby, packed house for a Tuesday night, really looking good, man, I was trying to enjoy myself, and then I'm like, okay, I'm trying to hear the screen, you know, shut up, my guy, you know, uh, but I feel like it was tattooed up and everything, dude. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know, I'm not to deal with that. So I'm just going to sit down and watch the movie. Uh, I, I wouldn't do anything like that. I would never stand up and be like, hey, can you please, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to cause a thing and then ruin everything. So that happened, man. So, and then every time, like, they do something funny, it's like, ha, chile con carne, you know, ha, ha, ha. And, like, laughing out loud, like, ha, 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 ha. I'm just like, fuck, one of those guys. Every Tuesday night, some movie ever has to have one of those people. Either way, his daughter was loud, or sister, or wife, I don't, I don't know. Either way, that kind of ruined the movie for me there, man. So I was kind of not really, you know. You know, it is a forgettable movie at times, too, because I'm thinking about this movie, trying to write my review, and I'm like, I can't remember every single scene. There are parts that just kind of fall off my mind. It is a forgettable movie at times. You're not, like, in one month, you're not going to remember and be like, compadres, yeah, dude, pretty cool, man. Like, it's not the greatest movie in the world, but it's just a fun, entertaining movie that's okay. Like I said earlier, Eric Roberts is in this movie, and there is no need for Eric Roberts in this movie whatsoever. Not one need. I mean, he, he was a waste of time in the movie. Uh, he was barely maybe in four or five scenes at most, and then, like, he's just kind of there, and I'm like, really? Did he just need money or something? Like, Nicolas Cage could have done that scene. Like, I mean, literally, I know hate to know with Derek Roberts. I'm not a big fan of him, but it's just kind of, like, really, like, all that, just to have that, kind of just putting a name in there sort of thing. Uh, as well, there's a thing right there where the story, there's a storyline, there's, like, multiple storylines and subplots in here. You meet a character, then you see them again, and, like, all this stuff going on towards the end of the movie and it just doesn't work of certain subplots, and then there's this whole thing with um, um, the character's wife, the main character's wife, and the whole storyline kind of drifts off, and then it, he meets the accountant, and then they go do their own thing, and then, all right, I guess we go back to that storyline. Like, it kind of jumps around every now and then. So, anyway, I'm going to have to give Compadres a 6.8 out of a 10. I thought it was an okay movie, man. It wasn't a great movie or a really good movie, but it was an entertaining movie enough to, you know, watch. So, is it a movie worth watching in general? Yes, I do think it's a movie that people should check out because it is a fun, entertaining popcorn film. Uh, Omar Chaparro, really, I really enjoy him and I would like to see him more uh, in other movies because he is a badass dude. He really does look cool on the screen and he has good charisma. Now, this is a movie watching in theaters. I would say wait for rental. Just wait for a red box or something. Or This is a movie where I could see myself buying it at the $5 bin uh, just because I wouldn't pay 20 bucks to buy this movie. I'd probably just pay 5 bucks. It is a movie worth watching, and I'd just say rental. Now, of course, now my the Tuesday night showing was full of Mexicans and Hispanics and Latinos and Latinas, and that's how we were, man. And I would say if you're in that culture there, baby, this is a movie that, yeah, go support, go check out, man, definitely, for sure. You'll enjoy it because everyone has a different culture, you know, and I'm not trying to be, every movie is a movie, it's a movie, it's a feature film. It's not like you say, you're not, that's a black comedy and anything, but there are those certain movies where that's not a black comedy film, but you have black comedy that black folks will laugh at. Um, you got white movies that white people will laugh at. You got eight, and maybe Hispanics don't find black movies funny, maybe... Black people don't find Mexican movies funny. It's just a certain thing that, you know, hey, represent Mexicans or, you know, Hispanics, let's go check out this movie. And, you know, certain things like that, like religious films aren't the best, and yet religious people think, oh my God, it's an amazing film, A+. plus. You know what I mean? Like, so it, just the way people see different things on how the, you know what I mean? So everyone's different, but you don't have to be Mexican to see this movie. I'm not trying to say anything, I'm just saying... A, if you're Hispanic or something like that, make sure to check this. Check out the trailer and tell me what you, I mean, or at least think about what you think about the trailer. And then 
I would say the movie's worth watching rental, or if it's in your theater, check it out for like a five buck in the morning or matinee price. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed. Comment down below to me what you guys thought about the review and compadres. Like, comment, and share. And if you really enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye-bye.